All right. So, round 14 here. I more or less have captured, you know, the majority of Spain. Germany's been more or less forced back to the edge of the um, Soviet frontier. I lost that little troop there, but whatever. This is where a real fight begins. The Axis have uh, not really done that well. Their economy is really suffering. They don't have a lot of units to really fight against us. They're not really able to push us in. So the game should be done, I think, within the next... I'm going to say by, by um, the end of round 20, we should be done. Well, it'll be more or less... They'll, they'll be like just imploding on themselves. I don't think we'll be completely done, but we'll be close to it. All right, we're getting this uh, lovely little delay, so we'll just uh, pause the recording. That took a long time. All right, well, um, really, this is the main part of the game where we start to really push in on the Germans. A lot of the game so far has just been, you know, push and shove in Spain and down here in the uh, Russian front, too. But for the most part, I've got my forces ready to start pushing into, like, France. And the English forces have also sort of joined the uh, Russians over here on their front from the uh, Mediterranean. And I can also join in with a few of mine as well if I want. I definitely want to take out Greece with the colonial French is what, um, is what I'm thinking about doing with those forces near, you know, Greece. If I do that, then uh, I can start really producing more stuff over there. I also think that if these transfers survive, I could send some guys up from Tunisia to uh, attack Rome or um, other places over there. And that's worth considering. Alright, the Comet moved for the French. If I want to, I could maybe damage this a little bit. But I think what we're going to do is just we're going to send these guys up here to Bilibo with this your purpose of trying to decimate as much as that as possible. And then I can just move these guys. Would I be able to take this maybe the next turn? That might be a little bit foolish to try. Alright, well, let's see here. These guys are going to strike up there. That's fine. Um, I guess over here, I should start thinking, can I possibly take out Insula? And I probably can. So, we're just going to build stuff that can sort of, you know, be built to sort of help defend, I guess. And Syria will build a couple MOT infantry. And I could probably go one, two, three from Izmir, so I can build maybe a few mech infantries from there. Um from here I can build armored cars and big armors and stuff like that. So one, two, um three. Might just go with uh, another Mata infantry, I guess, to uh, attack from there. We'll send those to Greece uh, as sort of like a backup type of, of idea. All right, so we're, they're going to be built there. Um, I forgot to uh, advance these units, so whatever. I guess we won't be attacking this turn. That's fine. We can send these two guys that weren't in the battle up a little bit more. 
I lost one infantry to kill that German one. That's fine. We'll go here. I want to advance you guys. They're all close by. Right there. So now it's a very, very heavily um, ready to strike up uh, over there for us. You guys are going to move uh, in their spot. And that'll be it for them. So I guess we'll just build um, these guys there. Those guys there and just these guys here. So that was the Colonial French's turn. And then the British go. What are they going to do? Normandy! Well, that's pretty quick. He takes back a couple territories for the uh, USSR with those troops he had over there. He's going to drop a couple down with me. That's nice of him. Helping to defend there. I wonder what type of troops he has in Le Havre up there. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. And the rest of you, if possible. All right, so there we go. All my troops are ready to be sailing across the ocean sea. So this is all. You guys are all going to move right there. It's going to take maybe a couple turns to get over here, but I also want to be careful of these uh, fighters. So he's got um, 16. I don't know what those things are. Um, he's got two fighters, he's got bombers, and he's got 16, I guess, super fighters, perhaps, or early fighters. I don't know what those are. They look deadly. Over here, these guys are going to um, actually want to do this. Since this guy isn't really needed, I can drop him in there. And just sort of ferry him over here. I can do that just to, you know, uh, make use of the, the ability to make use of these troops a little bit more. Um, I could try to attack here this turn. I don't think that'll turn out well, though. So we're going to just basically send these guys there, these guys here, these guys here, these guys here, and one guy there. And the purpose more or less for doing that is just that um, it kind of keeps all these places well defended and also discourages a whole lot of attack from all these guys. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about doing this. That'll leave both of these places really open to attack, but it puts all my uh, guys in one very defensive area all at once. And I can send them wherever I want from there. So we'll do that. Alright, what am I building? So, at this point, I'm really starting to think about attacking. Um, this guy can attack Barcelona or up there with free moving units, so we're going to build one, two, three. This, this guy, he can attack with uh, two moving units here or there. This guy would require three to get up there. But um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could do that. I think we'll build a couple bombers and we'll drop them right there in Seville. So we'll build all those guys to uh, send forces to attack. All right, non-combat move. Not really one to really talk about. So we're just gonna get ready to attack next turn, more or less.
Got quite a bit of forces to attack with. And it's going to destroy all the uh, British fleets, the Germans again. Going to attack Normandy, who could have guessed that from happening. And the first thing of the units didn't take too long. And it's going to drop them all in Barcelona to prevent me from, you know, mopping the floor of that, uh, you know, that place. Good place to put them. Drop four guys in Greece. This still has a lot of fighters on the Atlantic coast. That's actually a good thing for the uh, the Germans to have all those fighters, because it makes them very able to defend themselves from you know naval fleets. Looks like the uh, Russians are going to try and decimate the smaller amounts of guys around here. All right, that was a little bit of a wait. So Russia dominates a little bit, has a few orphan units around, but for the most part they can take out the German units probably next. And the building. And it looks like uh, Italy's going to try and attack me a little bit. With whatever they can. Attacks on that one guy. Okay, so they sent a few of their forces out to attack this small little grouping. That's fine. Um, it looks like we'll be able to get some damage on them too. At least three of their infantry died. Their infantry died. Actually, let, having them split up all their infantry like that is very beneficial because... Um, It'll make it easier for me to take out Barcelona if I wish to do that. Though he's got a lot of Budricks now, so I gotta watch out for that. Colonial French, what's your plan going to be? I think what we're going to do with them is just, you know, keep them on their sort of path over here. I can see that there's like a few um, infantry in Rome. But for the most part, if I build enough strong enough force, I should be able to take that out. So, uh, what would I need to build them? Not sure, but anyhow, over here, it's time to make this attack happen. I've got more than enough guys to, uh, really deal with anything. It's over here right now. So take that out, and we'll start going up here if possible. So attack with all that. I lost all the troops I had over here, except for these guys. Um, I think there's enough of them that they can take out these guys here perhaps. Let's see if they can possibly do that. So total unit value 66 power 27 to his uh, total unit value 32 power 22. And apparently the odds I got 100% chance of winning if I attack. The thing here is that I'm going to lose a, a bunch of my guys. I guess that's worth it, but uh, let's just, I guess, go with it. So, done. My transports are getting really close to Tunis. So, I should probably start thinking about what guys I could probably send to uh, go up there. I think in Tunis, what we want to do is we want to build four... 
big armors. I'll go in at least four to transports. And basically over here I'll just start concentrating on what I can keep sending over. Um, from Ankar I'll send maybe armor cars, so one, two. And then we'll send these guys from Ismer. Alright, so done. Let's get these battle underway. So Central Spain. That worked well. We took it all out. Battle in Instable. No real con um, you know, contest there that I was going to win. We just destroyed them. Um, four of these guys have to jump back here because they can't be left there. Other than that, though, we're pretty much ready to uh, rock and roll. So, done. And I'll place four of these guys here. And we'll place the armored cars here. And these guys here. So I got a nice little encroaching force on the uh, Romanian sort, sort of area over there. Plus I've got the uh, English down there, possibly to drop off stuff too. He's going to drop four guys in Greece. I don't think the uh, Italians will go after him either. If I take out Greece, then they can pop up and be of help uh, too. And those guys are going to get killed. I kind of wish he built some guys in Egypt, but whatever. Romania is going to do what damage it can. Guess they lost somewhere. He's going to be really uh, threatened by all that stuff coming toward his capital, Rome, uh, Romania over there, but too bad for him. All right, with all the um, the fighters over there, these guys have to land off right there. Hopefully, uh, I can like maybe move these guys in to drop them on Boudreau, but for now, just being dropped there. Um, I probably should do something about this down here. A lot of guys to sort of you know leave. The main target right now is Barcelona, so. I guess that's what that's what we're gonna basically aim for. Hitting Barcelona. We're gonna hit Barcelona with um a hell of a lot of force. Oh well, we you know we're just gonna move everything in here anyway, so do that. Actually, we're not going to move everything. We're going to move everything but infantry in there. Um, which apparently I've already moved, so... Everything but one infantry will uh, move. So that's enough, I think, to take and hold Barcelona for good. Yep, no way they're going to be able to compete with that. Um... These guys over here will take the uh, two guys into our carrier. They can drop over here. Not that little island. All right, purchasing, purchasing, purchasing. I don't plan to build any more on the other side. So, an industry for. C or um, Ortegel is kind of important, I think. Um, the other stuff I can build, I can build up to 10 units. One, two, three, four, I think. Four on like uh, some of the far stuff. 
Madrid, I think I'll build one. Maybe I'll do that. Well, I'll do that. So I'll build all those guys. And battle in Barcelona will begin. His AA guns will the target of one of the bombers, sadly, so he went down. But they only got two of the fighters, so we'll be able to decimate the rest of them. Bye-bye! And we killed those damn fighters, too. Lost a bu bunch of infantry to fort. I'll take that, you know, that's a minor loss. I, I really need to get these infantry over there for can fire though purposes, but won't worry about that just yet. Um Move these guys more or less right here. This is a CPU, so I have to keep in mind that they're stupid. They won't attack if I put 7 there, even if it's uh, damaged fighters. So put those guys there. And, um, done. We'll put, build this one here. Build the fighters here. Build the fighters here. Actually, since I built those, uh, I've moved those fighters there, we'll build two of these guys instead. Build these guys here. So that's the Americans move. Spain is pretty much conquered. There goes my transport. So he has all his uh, fighters around and he used them. I'm going to probably kill maybe a few of his fighters with the transports, but... Alright, well he killed all 11 immediately. And I killed 4 of his. That's that's fine, I guess. Oh, he didn't kill them all. He killed he had 8 more. Killed another 2. So I killed 6 of his fighters, so I'll take that. The Americans have landed and they're ready to kick ass. So yeah, it's been a long game. I think this is the first time I've gone up to round 17 in one of my video recordings. So those are definitely special fighters, by the way, that he's building. The, um, the Germans. So I go down here. Um... Special units. The Germans are building this uh, ME262 type unit. It's uh, got four attack and two defense, but moves at five instead of four, and it costs 12. So it's basically a much high, higher power fighter, is what he's using to uh, designate me with. Um, I think the, uh, the British have the Lancaster there, I think. And then the B-29 is, of course, the American version. I'm not sure what the Kajutsu um, is. It might, might be a, um, a USSR unit, by the sounds of it, just by its name. It looks like it's an armored car. Not sure. The big armor, that's what everyone gets. Super sub. Not sure if everyone gets that, but I certainly got it. And then of course, bunker. It's two hit. Alright, well, um, I sort of just waited for this, uh, this turn to go. Looks like the uh, USSR is uh, fighting back a little bit more. We'll see how it works when they come back. Uh, it's still a long wait, even after, you know, weighing that much into it. The Russians certainly take a long time to build their units. They are pushing, put, putting up a good job, though, in uh, keeping the Germans at bay. So I'll give them that.
So the uh, Germans and the Russians are just, you know, trading back and forth in their front up there. It looks like the Italians are going to attack me up there. I expect that they might. And they're in Greece. Didn't expect them to do that. And he hits everyone but that truck. We get two kills. That's it, two kills. That's kind of foolish of the Italians to move out of Greece like that. Now I can move my forces into Greece. And basically trap him there. Until I kill him. And he's moving even more forces away from me. He built a few, but whatever. France doesn't really get a move. So, what's the plan? These guys are obviously moving down this direction still. Um, I'm going to want to basically... Drop, I guess, guys in Rome. Over here, I conquered Instable, so I can send two of these guys in a bit over. Um, it looks like I just got two of those guys there. And all this stuff over here. This isn't really much of a threat, so... This four of those guys and... Four of those guys will be enough to sort of uh, take out all that with you know, much issue. These guys will drop down here, take out Greece. You will go. You'll go. Heck, these guys will go. They'll all go. And we'll just destroy and maim pretty much everything in Greece with that little force. Um, these guys, I'm tempted to make them go down. And uh, do a little bit more damage to here. So I don't have to worry about sending American forces to do it. And then I can just concentrate it up here. So we'll do that. It'd be nice to take that as American territory, but whatever, I don't really need to. And done. Okay, building-wise, I got four big armors down here already. I think I want to build four more. I'll build up one, two, three, four, five, six. That will be enough to uh, take four of these guys. Or wait, no, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't build those. We're going to take uh, six elites, actually. Because they do uh, two attack, and I'm using them to attack, not really defend. Send them up, hit Rome, be done with it. And then over here, um, I can send, like, no, guys to sort of help defend out some more if needed. So. Armored car, I guess. Why not? That could be useful. Counterattacking and such. So let's get these battles underway. Whoops, I sacrificed one of those guys. Well, we lost one of our MOT infantry, but whatever. We uh, took out um, S Nevada. Stop sacrificing those guys. I suppose they're sacrificing them because uh, they're losing off, um, offensive. These guys don't have as much offensive as these guys over here. I'm getting lots of offensive because of all the stuff I have. Bulgaria. Looks like only one guy died, which is good. So we're going to drop those guys there. And then keep on pushing over. Alright, that looks good. So done. I want to place just the armored cars more or less here. And pretty much next time I can start really setting up stuff. Um, these guys, all of them, I can't build them all here. I forgot about that. So you know what? We're actually possibly going to build more over here. We're going to build one, two, three. One, two, three. One. And one. 
So yeah, we're gonna build a uh, eight. Those no, I now have eight guys over here. I just have to build four more after it. So done. Slowly gonna build up into needs, and then I guess send them over. So like it'll take me at least uh, I guess one more turn if I wanna attack really quick to have the infantry. England took a little bit of purchasing time there. I don't know what they're going to do with all their forces. Why not? They'll build more infantry all over the place. Eventually they'll be able to transport them over. Hopefully. Looks like Romania is kind of threatened now. Do, do, do. I'm tempted to leave these guys here, actually. Just thinking about possibly doing that. Let's actually move them there. Move these guys down here. All right, so that's basically the forces I have ready in the Mediterranean for assaulting Rome. What am I going to do with all this stuff that's happening over here, then? Um, well, for stars, they uh, need to go. Die. I could probably make use of one of these guys to... Uh, That's five territories to take with that one guy if I do that. That would, yeah, it's probably not really worth it. It's basically losing six, um, six per, you know, person units from pressing him to pick up those three territories and then lose them all at, at once. Um, but that's just something you know to think about. I can send my my units up through there as as I want to now. I really should probably send a bunch of uh, artillery over to here and do that. We're basically going to hit um, Turles with all those guys right there, I think, is the plan. These guys can go this way. And hit there. And hit there. Keep going there. And there. And there we go. Massive, massive uh, forces attacking through Spain at these uh, Germans here. I think we'll go with that. So, done. And uh, what am I going to purchase here? So, I now have five producing structures over here. Barcelona is the, the main one for, you know, setting units around. One, two, three. I'm actually tempted to build a lot of infantry. One, two, three, four, five. Why not? We'll build two and see Ortigal. And these two guys down here will uh, build our stuff. We'll build one. Actually, you can probably build uh, fighters and such. There's my B-29. Maybe I should build one of those. One, two. And that's pretty much good there, I think. A fighter, a bomber, and MOTF infantry, or MOT infantry. We'll build all that for these places over here. So that's all going to go uh, get built. 
There's a few of those guys. Stop killing them. And they're all there. Non-combat moved. All the fighters. And the bomber. And these guys will all go to Barcelona. And then we'll start placing stuff. Infantry. 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 We'll put the B-29s over here. Build a bomber. Build these guys here. A little bit more. So round 18. Looks like the Germans are taking a little bit of time to purchase their units. And there they go. And what do you know? The Britons, Britons lost their uh, naval fleet out in the Atlantic again. Yeah, all it takes is a bunch of fighters from Germany. You can keep the Atlantic suppressed if uh, you want to. I suppose that's not entirely true, but it's close enough. What are you going to do with those damn infantry you keep moving up and back, Russia? Hey, look at that, they're going to take Ukraine's Kaska. Ukraine Kaska. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ukraine Kaska. Yeah. Maybe that's close enough. And they're going to take a while to purchase their units, of course, so we'll wait again. And there you go. They don't really have much in their front anymore. The Russians don't have a whole lot of units, but there's not a whole lot of uh, Axis power units anywhere anywhere to be found over there either. And they can also move these guys down eventually. Maybe move those guys somewhere useful. On that stupid transport. Hey, move them back there. Looks like uh, Is going to try and defend the capital over there, as much as they can. They're starting to have to think about all the forces I have all over the place now. And they're actually retreating some. They're tactically retreating. Who knew they could do that? France doesn't really get a move. So I've got eight guys here. I need to build up to six more. I won't be able to do that though. Which is too bad, but oh well. I might attack next turn if I build up, you know, four more infantry here and he doesn't build anything there, but we will see. For now, let's get our actions going. You guys are going to go here. You guys are going to go there. This armored car could go wherever the hell it wants. They are getting attacking over here, so just move up there. Go to Greece. Guess I forgot to move one of those uh, AA guns over. Oh well, let's see here. Um, No real reason not to keep send a guy over that direction, right? So you can do that. Um, I'll actually send a bunch of these guys that way. I'll take Macedonia on the way. Down here, I actually want to send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Send these guys down. And these guys down. Send that guy over this way. 
Jesus has Macedonia. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Move all the rest of these guys to uh, Macedonia. More or less in the sort of, you know, putting the guys there to see what I've got. I've got like basically a whole bunch of those guys ready. I'm kind of lacking infantry to send sort of up in that direction, so I have to really start building infantry. I wish I already did build some of these elites, but I should build regular infantry too. Um, to start attacking. These guys, they can uh, move up this way, be more defensive, I guess, as needed. There is an infantry there. So we're setting that guy up there to die just to try and take that. You know, it is sort of, because then I don't have to worry about wasting Americans. Just send those guys down and... Hopefully one of them will hit the infantry and kill it. If I uh, calculate odds, we have 91% uh, chance of winning. Hopefully that will you know be true. I'm actually tempted at doing this, just to bring these guys here. Know where they are. And let's see how this goes. So infantry one two three four five, infantry one two three four, infantry one two three four, and maybe I'll build one two three, and from Syria we'll build just two fighters. So that's what colonial France will build. Battle in Montpellier. He missed. He missed. We hit. He missed. So I took that. Don't have to worry about sending American forces to do that. I probably should have sent one up here too. I probably could have hit that as well, but I could also send the Americans through there and not, you know, um, you know, really care about it. So that's done. non comment move. These guys can go up. Where they can, which is there, I guess. And two of these guys are gonna go this direction. I wanna send them like down this, you know, over in this direction to sort of help uh, prevent anti um, aircraft attacks, more or less. That's the plan. Um. Probably I could keep moving these guys up. So maybe I'll do that. They'll help defend up there a little bit. Alright, guys to place. Infantry, infantry, infantry. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then up here, four more. So that was Colonial France's turn. British are going to build a bunch of infantry to uh, put in their cruiser. They're going to send a couple of guys over to Moscovia. Moldovskavia. He's going to drop those guys off in Greece. Yep, one guy in Greece. And those guys were shot down by German fighters, I assume, unless I kill them. Which I might. Where do I want to send my guys? Probably here. Send a bunch of those guys at least there. Send you here. I'm 
to send that guy there. These guys are going to go this direction. Going to send a bomber up there. Sadly, that's out of range for the fighters. So I'm basically sending a bunch of bombers up there to try and kill off all those uh, fighters and other stuff that's just, you know, threatening to destroy me and all that. Um, of the guys here, I can send... The armored cars can go up there. They can absorb some hits. They're nice and cheap and weak and all that. And that's what they're good for. These guys can absorb some hits. Couldn't move them all, that's fine. Um, these guys can absorb hits. And... Pretty much I'm going to keep moving you guys just this way. Do I have enough here to uh, cripple all that? Calculate the odds. He's got more unit value but less power. I have a 100% chance of winning. Okay, we'll see. That's good enough. And this cripple him of all that. I should probably check out when I'm going to lose, though. Ew. I'm going to lose a lot of units. Um, one, two, three, four. Four of these guys are going to hit Normie just to make sure I kill all that. And the territories around me, I've got a whole lot of elites and infantry. I've got a whole lot of... Uh, this one guy there. Bunch of guys there. Probably want to hit here. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to keep going that way. And if I want to, I can make all these guys sort of uh, pile into a sort of attack right there. Which will de basically decimate. I think I only need uh, other stuff with the battle cal calculator. Oh, no, yes I do. There's still quite a bit of power. Odds? I can tell you what the odds are. Zero. I'm going to lose basically all my guys, and he's going to lose quite a bit of his, but... Won't be worth it. So I need to send at least some elites. Except they uh, can't move that far. Oh, I don't really have all that, uh... I don't really have anything really to send at those guys specifically, so you know what? We're not going to, um, do that move. We're instead just going to send these guys up, sort of in this direction. Oh, that's why. He's got 39 elites in there. I didn't realize he had that many. I don't think it's enough to beat all this back, but it's enough to, uh, make me, you know, think twice about attacking it right yet. Um, who can I send to attack here? Not all units can land. I'm just going to assume I can't send anyone to attack uh, sent in really right now. Probably could. I could probably set a big armor to do it. But I wouldn't be worth killing the elite for it. Not worth killing him here. So you know what? We're not going to um, do anything other than attack those fighters up there just to get rid of them. That'll be the uh, attack, so to speak. Not really a great attack, but it's, a, it's an attack. Um, he's only got two of those guys there. And then this guy's got this stuff down here. I'm actually thinking... We're going to send our guys to start the attack right there. So we'll do that with the uh, cruisers. That's going to be it. All right. Um, I can still build a whole lot of stuff. I could probably use more infantry, so we'll build some from Barcelona again. See, Orton go. Madrid. 
And then for Portugal, we'll build three B-29s. And from Sevilla, we'll build a bomber. So done. Let's get this uh, attack on Normandy underway. I destroyed two of his bombers and six of his uh, fighters. He's going to kill four of my guys. We're going to lose the armored car. And you know what? We're going to lose our tanks, I think. Don't want to lose the tanks, though. No, I don't. The tanks are probably not worth specifically losing over these guys. So we'll get rid of the uh, armored cars and two of those guys that they suggested. Remain. Crush the rest. He's going to get two more hits. Yeah, we'll kill the tanks now. Alright, so there we go. We've taken out Normandy. I can send these guys back here. These guys back there. I had those fires I could send somewhere. Didn't know that. Well, let's just place what I can. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Place these three. And this guy here. So, getting a little bit more purchasing power, liberating France. He takes back one of his territories I took. Oh, he did attack me. I didn't think he would, but he did. We killed one of those guys. He attacked me in Normandy. I figured he would do that, so that's to be expected. Italy's moving some more guys to help, you know, box me in from advancing. Guys, do that transport, and he'll drop two more guys off, and as are best, and then Russia's gonna advance where it can, and then they'll purchase, so we'll have to wait. And Russia starts to attack. So Russia's slowly pushing, destroying everything in its path. Looks like uh, Italy's going to try and damage me, and or uh, he's going to try and damage the, the colonial French over here. That's fine. I mean, I sent those guys up there to sort of just take the territory. That's a lot of uh, Italian troops on that flank there. French combat move. Um, it doesn't look like uh, they really... Um, well, they left Rome open. So let's uh, take advantage of that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to move all these guys. Probably going to lose all the, you know, stuff to uh, attacks, but they're all going to go and attack Rome. And this should be a big blow to uh, the Italians, losing their capital. Doing that... Um, that's what we'll be doing there, basically. You're going to go up this way. 
I suspect they're gonna start attacking me over here, but they didn't. So you can just go this way. Just go there. And jump. Oh yes, yeah, it's my guy from I moved before. You go this way. In here. Go to Bulgaria. Um, the guys that can move more spaces, they will move up there. Yeah, I'll move them up there. These guys move this way. These guys just move on to Greece. The guys I'm built on Greece can go to Bulgaria. Why not? We'll move all these guys to uh, Bulgaria. Big party in Bulgaria. So everyone's moved. Uh, that's going to move pretty much this time over there. And then I've got these guys over here. So there's a lot of open territories for me to sort of take. That's worth it taking Austria, Austria there because it has six um, person units on it. I can also send, send this guy up to... Uh, well, I can send all these previous guys actually up to uh, East Czechoslovakia. Why not just do that right up there? I don't think they're doing any threat of being destroyed or anything. And you know what? I'm thinking about something. But I have these aircraft, right, in Bulgaria. Okay, they can't reach there because that's just too far and we don't, we're not allowed to suicide our units. So these guys... I'm just going to go here. I can move one of these guys to East Romania, so why not? We'll do that. Closing on Romania. I might be able to take out Romania, which would be pretty good to do. So they took this territory of a uh, bunch of troops. I don't have any chance of uh, killing them with these three guys. So we're just going to go up here. Help defend there. And that will be uh, Colonial French's turn, I think. Okay, purchasing units. I actually have quite a few... I, I could use more infantry, but I have enough that um, really what I'm thinking about doing is just attacking up here really quickly. Do I, do I want to do that? I think what we want to do is actually want to build... four of these guys. I'm just going to calculate this. I basically have um, more enough like artillery type support to uh, support my troops over here. So we're just going to build these guys. One, two, three, nine from all over here. We'll build a few more in Izmir. And why not? We'll build, uh, in case those transfers don't die, um, one, two, one, two over in Tunisia. Tunisia. Okay, so done. Let's get these battles underway. Rome. So, I got seven hits, destroyed seven of his, inf uh, seven of his infantry. He got three of mine. Got the last one, he got none. So, I conquered Rome, which means guess what? They don't be able, they won't be able to produce for a turn. And um, if you look at the colonial French, I now have all their person units. So we're gonna get more person units for uh, a little bit here. All right. Well, um, I don't think I have any non-combat moves to make, except for maybe moving these guys like that. And. You're already in Greece, so... Whatever, we'll leave those AAs alone. Done. Placing our guys. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three. And then we'll build all this stuff here. And we get a massive amount of pristine units to make use of. So yeah, that is a bit of an AI error yet again with them leaving uh, their capital open. They left Rome open to attack. He builds some more ships. He's actually going to use his tank to attack Odysseus. He builds some more guys there. So I've got 43 elites right there and 19 more elites right there. 13 infantry there, 4 infantry there, and a tank. And just over here. So that's a big sitting army next to a whole lot of troops. I think I can crush it. Pretty sure I can crush it. So I figure we'll crush it. We're going to send everyone I've got basically. Well, maybe I should, I should crush that, shouldn't I? There should be a really quick way to uh, cancel um, selecting all your units like this. When you have big stacks and piles like that, select all, and if you decide not to move them all, there might be. I don't know if there is. All right, well, let's just see here. There's um, these stuff over here. Um, we're going to send four elites, I guess, to attack. We're going to maybe drop in yeah, I'll drop in these these three guys to say hi, and that guy too. We'll start making these guys just move. I'm tempted to send a bunch of those guys up there, but you know what? We'll uh, send these guys this way. I'm going to send just, you know, a couple guys that way. And the rest of them are just going to crush what troops they can here. And get, get rid of all that, at least, of the Italian stuff. I can't really move anything with uh, those guys there, and... Well, I might want to, actually, but I don't think I really care to. So we're going to leave those two infantry there. Not sure if this is the right idea, we'll send these guys up there, hopefully to guard. Apparently I have to slow that little um, T-boat there. And we're just going to see what happens. All right, um, I'm still building stuff. Infantry always, so one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. And Madrid, you can build other stuff now, I think. Let's build one, two, three, four, five. From Portugal, we'll build one, two, three. And from Sevilla, let's build You and you. All right, let's get this underway. So they all died immediately. They got off 11 hits and killed a bunch of my infantry, I'll say. Killed off all that air force of theirs. I killed Buddy there. These guys that uh, flew there, I'll move them here, and those guys there. I don't want to move them into there because there's a bunch of, you know, huge stack. They might attack them there, and I might lose a bunch of guys. Um, so they're going to move there. And done. So we're going to place our guys, three more guys here. 
Two more guys here. I think I miscalculated all the guys I was building. So we got extra infantry. So I guess we'll just build these guys across the Atlantic. And we're done. Alright, I'm going to say at this point, we've advanced a fairly good amount of the game. Um, I'll pause the recording here, and then next time we'll really be pushing into the rest of uh, um, the access powers.